Hey guys, this is Charles with Jaeger Film. I want to do a quick tutorial regarding the toggle VR display for 360 footage built into Premiere Pro. I saw there's quite a few questions about it on Reddit, particularly with people asking about the square aspect ratio, how to change that to be more of a widescreen viewer. So I'm going to answer that question and a few other questions you might have about the toggle VR display. So what I've got here in Premiere Pro is some 360 footage in the X rectangular format. And so what I want to do to toggle the display, I need to go ahead and make that icon appear down here. So I'm going to go here to the plus icon, click on that, and then I'm going to see the toggle VR display button, and just drag that icon down in here to this panel, and click OK. Now I'll go ahead and click that. You can now see I'm viewing my 360 footage, kind of like I would a 360 video on YouTube, and I can click and drag around here to navigate around the video. But right now it's in the square format. So what we need to do is come over to this wrench icon, go ahead and click that, and then you're going to see VR video, and this gives us quite a few options. First one is to hide these controls. So when I do that, you'll see I got a little more room over here. So now if I want to make this widescreen, I'm going to come over to the wrench icon again, go back to VR video, and just select settings. And then you'll have these VR settings pop up. And I can just move this over now from 109 degrees all the way over to 180. And just click OK. And that'll give you that widescreen view, which you're going to be more used to from YouTube and Facebook there. So it's a little bit easier to view everything in your video, more natural. Something else you want to note, if you actually do a screenshot in the toggle VR display view, it actually won't take a screenshot of this view. It'll take a screenshot of your entire X rectangular footage like this. So unfortunately that doesn't work. Now in some cases, if you bring in some 360 footage into your sequence and you come here to the toggle VR display and you click it and it doesn't go to this VR display view, it just doesn't do anything at all. What you need to do is with your sequence selected here, come up here to sequence and go to sequence settings. And then come down here under VR Properties and make sure the projection for this, it may be on None, so just change that to X Rectangular. And then depending on your footage, you may want to change the layout. Typically, if you're just working with you know, regular 360 footage, it'll be monoscopic, but if you're working with stereo, it'll be one of the other options. And just click OK, and then if you come back over to the toggle VR display, then it'll start working. Sometimes, on occasion, it won't automatically kick on. All right, guys, hopefully you picked up a few tips from this. If you had any questions about the toggle VR display, if you have any other questions, post those in the comments. This has been Charles with Jaeger Film. Thanks for watching.